Mosbacher, the one you want for Duquesne on the front line. Red Flash with Roush, their best attacker, on their front line right now. Pass to Metzler, out of the middle, an attack for White, and a kill for White. So the Red Flash going to have to string together some points here. Whites will be back to serve. The longest rally point of the match so far went to the Red Flash. Right now, Duquesne with all the momentum and all the points, they lead 5-3. In a game four, that they lead two games to one. Duquesne with two wins in a row, looking to make it three. And they're first on the road off the block, kept alive there by Basilic. She'll have to send a free ball over. Ferris, Metzler, near side, and a kill for Rausch. Nice pass there, going to the outside, and a dig from Bo. Another nice dig from Vasetta. Dig there from Bo. Set across, and a point to the red flash. Double touch from Johnson. Looked like she was playing the role of setter on that one. She kind of tried a setter dump attack up in the air. She was gone for the double touch. 17 to 10, Duquesne on top. And a game where they've had all of the momentum from the onset. That one's a service error from Roush. Liz Wayne will make another appearance into the front row as Claire Bow will take a seat. That one's an ace. Suter with her first ace of the game has already a couple of service errors. And a timeout from the Red Flash. The momentum all to the Dukes. 19 to 10 they lead. Mosbacher leading the way for Duquesne. Seven kills for the freshman out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Lambert will continue to serve here. Tip going to the back corner, taken by Lambert. Far side now, Roush off the block, kept alive. Roush again, and there's the kill. Sarah McMullen fired up on the near sideline. Her team has taken a five-point advantage here. Roush with the old homage, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again as her first attack was blocked at the net and sent back over. 